Piers Morgan, 57, became the butt of the joke on Tuesday's BBC Radio 4 Today programme following his interview with boxer Conor Ben on Piers Morgan, uncensored. The boxer, 26, had been accused of doping after testing positive for women's fertility drug Clomiphene twice last year. He has constantly protested his innocence but now faces a ban from boxing in the UK. Speaking to Piers, Connor said he suffered night terrors and panic attacks in the aftermath. He also said he had suicidal thoughts and didn't think I was going to make it through. The interview was mentioned in Radio 4's news bulletin. Once the newsreader had finished, Nick Robinson quipped, doesn't anybody, who has, to speak to Piers Morgan get a night terror and a panic attack, probably because there's nobody watching. The newsreader then laughed, you could say that. This is not the first time that Nick has made a jibe at Piers' expense. Back in November, the former Good Morning Britain host sat down with Cristiano Ronaldo for the now-famous interview in which the footballer said he felt betrayed by Manchester United. Taking to Twitter, Nick poked fun at Ronaldo's friendship with Piers and highlighted the presenter's former friendship with Donald Trump. The BBC journalist tweeted, Trump, Ronaldo. Is it too soon to talk about the curse of it Piers Morgan? Don't miss. Christine McGuinness stayed in unhappy Patty marriage to feel safe, insight, Patty McGuinness leaning on pal Kirsty Gallagher as pair grow close, news, Sam Smith slammed by tennis star Nick Kyrgios over Fisher them remark, latest, on Monday night Piers was awarded scoop of the year at the Sports Journalists Association. Taking to the stage to accept his award, Beers thanked his good friend Ronaldo for giving him the interview. The presenter also explained how the unlikely pair came to know each other after Ronaldo sent Piers a message on Instagram. Piers told the crowd that the footballer was a fan of his crime documentary and joked that he has a serial killer in upstate New York to thank for their friendship. He continued, we became quite good friends and he said, when I'm ready to talk, you will get the interview. Piers also revealed that the bombshell chat didn't cost a penny and praised Ronaldo for delivering on his promise. Elsewhere in his acceptance speech, Piers took a fresh swipe at Meghan Markle. He jived, I'd like to thank Meghan Markle, without whom I wouldn't be at Top TV or Piers Morgan Uncensored. Thank you, Meghan. Melting